That's it. You're doing great. <gasps> It's okay. Everything will be fine. Copy that, Ariel. We're almost done here. Only two more to go on this end. Great. Over. Good job, Smokey. Hello. Can anyone hear me? Vehicle! Vehicle! Sir, please. My son! He is in there! I'll get him, but you must stay back. It's too dangerous. Until I have my son. Let me help you. Thank you. Papa! And the father ran into the building as it was crumbling because he knew his son was inside? There's nothing more precious to a parent than their child. Rescue heroes, we have a major catastrophe on our hands. Satellites show a huge cold air mass, the largest on record, moving down from polar regions about to collide with warm, moist air off the coast of Cuba. This will spawn hurricanes, floods, and snowstorms across the entire eastern United States and up through Canada. Not only will the devastation be massive, these disasters will hit at virtually the same time. Even with every rescue hero moving into action, I don't know how we're going to handle it. We'll make it happen, Roger.
Thanks. My pleasure. Roger, I'm on my way. You're both doing great. Okay, in three, two, one. Cliffhanger, this is Roger Houston. We need your assistance. Right. Gotta work? Sorry, son. We'll finish this when I get back. I remember when I was a kid and my dad used to get called away for a rescue. I was sad and proud all at the same time. Fathers have a way of being our heroes without even trying, huh? Yeah. There you go again with that look. What? Every time we talk about fathers, you feel bad for Billy. Something going on? He and his father haven't talked in years. That's awful. Hey, rescue heroes. Gale force winds are hurtling boats and cars onto homes. And waves are crashing down, pummeling oceanfront homes. The devastation is massive. Homes are being destroyed. Businesses are burning. This is the storm of the century. Jack head to Florida first. Start at the southernmost coast, then move north. According to Roger, the storm hit so fast, most of the homes hadn't been evacuated. Copy that, Chief. Filled to capacity. There's no controlling it. Billy, we have an exact location on that passenger train that is derailed. It's on a remote piece of track in the mountains above Quebec City. Quebec City. I'm inputting the coordinates in your data packs as well as the hyperjet's computer. Local authorities are at the base of the mountain, but can't make it up because of the high winds and zero visibility. And the conditions are only getting worse. Copy that, Roger. We're on our way. So how does it feel to go back to your hometown? You okay? Wendy, we never let our emotions get in the way of doing our job. Not even when family's concerned? Whoa! We're going to have to continue on the ground. It's too dangerous to fly in this weather. Roger, can you patch me through to the captain in charge? Patching through, Billy. Over. Captain, we can't be airborne in this storm, but we prepared for that eventuality. We're going to lower the passengers down the mountain. What we need you to do is prep as many harnesses as you have. I've got six I can prep now, and another man is on his way with more. Great. See you soon. Over and out. Looks like a person on the ice. Could be. There are lots of cabins up here. Looks like someone may have fallen through the ice. I'll check it out, then meet you at the base camp. Billy? What is it? That's my father. You two move.
move ahead to the mountain. I'll take care of this. You sure? Go! Careful. The ice is thin. I need you to move back so I can get closer. Sir, we'll need you and your team to send the harnesses back up swiftly once you unhook each passenger. No problem. So that man on the ice is Billy's father, huh? Small world. I don't understand. How could a father and son not talk for years? while I get this family out. Copy that, Jack. <laughs> You'll be okay now. Do you know how long he was in the water? A few minutes. I was heading back to the cabin when the storm hit. That's when I saw him go on to the pond. There's an emergency crew at the base of the mountain. They can treat his hypothermia. Where are you going? To the cabin. Dad, it's too dangerous. The emergency crew is closer. They have shelters set up. I'll be fine. Please. This storm is only gonna get worse. Billy, I'm fine. It's the boy who needs attention right now. Everything is going to be all right. We just need you to stay calm and we'll get you out of here. Okay, everyone, form a single line. We're gonna attach your harness to the line, then lower you down. I'm scared. That's okay, but we still have to do this. It's a go, base camp. Passenger one is on the way down. Copy that. We're ready. He was skating on the pond when the ice broke. We'll take good care of him. Wendy, I'm coming up. Copy that. There. Keep going. Wendy, Rocky, situation under control? <laughs> Don't worry, I've got you.
Check on the passengers. If no one's injured, evacuate that car. Get everyone to the front. You got it, Chief. It's all right, sir. I'll lower you down. Okay! Billy! We have to get these people out of this car now, before it goes over and pulls the rest of the train with it. Right, Wendy. Let's get moving. I'll radio them to clear the base below. Captain. One of the cars is about to go over, and it's pulling the others with it. We need to clear the base. Copy that, Billy. We're on it. Captain, a man has fallen over a ridge near the pond. Was he wearing a red parka? Yes. I'm going after him. He's unreachable, sir. There's nothing stable to hook into. It's all powder. I'll reach him. Billy, it's too dangerous for you to go alone. You and Rocky take care of this situation. I've got to help my father. The storm has only increased in severity across the nation. As airports and harbors along the entire eastern seaboard have been closed until further notice. People are asked to stay inside and keep the phone lines free except for emergencies. We've never seen anything like this. It's the biggest storm on record. The cold air mass has swept into Florida, bringing with it snow. Snow? Florida? Who would have believed it? That's what my satellite tells me, but I'm guessing you two are witnessing it firsthand. And feeling it. Dad! Dad! Can you hear me? Dad! Hang on, Dad! I'm coming! my job. This is what I do. Buckle up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Roger, I'm having a hard time keeping the chopper up in these conditions. I'm going to have to land. swept away. If we can get past that ridge over the canyon, the wind should let up. We can make an emergency landing. Is there anything I can do to help? We should turn on the GPS beacon. It'll keep the others apprised of our location. Cliff, the ferry passengers are all safe. Let's go help those people in that house. Hyperjet's beacon. That can only mean trouble. Billy, what's wrong? Come in. Over. Billy, do you... In. Wendy, you're breaking up. Say again, over. Billy, I don't copy. Over. Breaking up. Half two. Emergency landing. Instruments, breaking up! No! Billy? Billy!
It has just been confirmed. Rescue hero chief Billy Blazes is missing in action. Do you read? Billy! We have to land. There's no way we can do an air rescue. Wendy, what's going on? What about Billy? Someone has to help him. There's not a signal from his data pack, not a signal from his remote, not even a signal from the GPS beacon. How bad must it be if everything is down?